I'm afraid we've come to the last song of the set here. Oh, I know. I'm disappointed too. Um, after, <laughs> after this song, I will uh, pretend to leave the stage. <laughs> and there will be an opportunity for you to applaud. <laughs> Uh, I will wait an appropriate amount of time, <laughs> then I'll return to the stage to do another couple of songs. <laughs> Although I leave it in your hands, I don't mean to force this upon you. We should come up with some sort of a signal. Oh, I know. If you're tired and you'd like to go home, just don't clap when I'm finished. <laughs> and then I will know not to come back out and do some more songs. Uh, they should come up with a word for what that is. Uh, this song, uh, I need your help with this song because they're... Yeah! As if I haven't already asked for and received plenty from you, seriously. Uh, just one more, one more thing you need to help me with, and that is to sing in this song. There's a, there's a part for you. You are, you are zombies. And uh, it's a pretty simple part for you, so even if you are an actual zombie, you should be able to learn it. I know. It's very hard for zombies to learn songs that they didn't know when they were human, so... Just, just try to follow along as best you can. Here's how it goes. All we want to do is eat your brains. Oh good, it sounds like many of you know it already. <laughs> Uh, let's try that all together, uh, so that the people who don't know it will have one more chance to learn it before we do it. Ready? All we want to do is eat your brains. That's, that's, that's good. Some of you are unruly, which I like. It's actually appropriate for uh, the character of zombie, you know. If you see the character description, Zombie, you know he's not going to be wearing a nice suit and have a nice haircut and everything, you know. He's going to be a, a mess. Uh, he's probably not going to sing that well, is the other thing. Really, if you were actual zombies, if you were a horde of brain-loving zombies, you would sound pretty awful when you tried to sing together. Uh, and I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you do sound awful. In fact, you sound a little too nice. You sound, sound too good. You're too good at singing. I know that's a horrible burden to bear, believe me, because I've, I've been that way all my life. Uh, so, I just do your best to rough it up a little. If you, don't, if you don't feel like singing, that's fine. You can just make zombie noises. In fact, that might even be preferable. Uh, it should just be really chaotic and, you know, terrible sounding. Ready? Let's try it again. That's perfect. Thank you. Hey, Tom, it's Bob from the office down the hall. Good to see you, buddy. How have you been? Maybe that's okay for now, but someday you'll... Shit. <laughs> Bit too hard to man. Here's an FYI, you're all gonna die screaming. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not unreasonable. I mean, no one's gonna eat your eye. I don't want to nip 
only your plan Spend your whole life locked inside a mall Maybe that's okay for now But someday you'll be out of food and guns and Then you'll have to make the call I'm not surprised to see you haven't thought it through enough You never had the head for all that bigger picture stuff Tom, that's what I do And I plan on eating you slowly All we want to do is eat your brains We're not unreasonable I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes All we want to do is eat your brains We're at an impasse here Maybe we should compromise Open up the doors We'll all come inside and eat your brains I like to help you time in any way I can I sure appreciate the way you're working with me I'm not a monster, Tom Well, technically I am I guess I am I've got another meeting Then we'll get to common ground somehow Meanwhile, I'll report back to my colleagues Who were chewing on the doors I guess we'll table this for now Glad to see you take constructive criticism well Thank you for your time, I know we're all busy as hell And we'll put this thing to bed the door. We'll all come inside and eat your brains. Thank you so much, Mr. Good night. Thank you. insist on me not stopping. Yeah. I will not stop. <laughs> I will do another couple songs. Um, oh, come on. Um, uh, so, uh, this is a song that I wrote uh, in the middle of uh, Thing a Week when I was feeling kind of down. The thing a Week was I quit my day job and I started doing this thing where I was putting a new song out every Friday. Um, and you know, I was not a famous person. I wasn't, there was nobody paying attention. 
just sort of sitting around in my underwear writing songs and putting them on the internet. Uh, and it felt kind of weird. Uh, and sometimes very depressing and strange. Like, what the hell am I doing? Why am I doing this? And I wrote this song, uh, somebody suggested I write a song about George Plimpton, uh, who's a man uh, who had a very interesting career, a lot of writing, sort of uh, 